I'm Joseph Shami. I'm a gastroenterologist in uh, Gange, and uh, my main interest is uh, gastroesophageal reflux. Reflux, which is very well known to a lot of the public nowadays and is becoming more common, uh, is basically acid coming back into the esophagus from the stomach. Uh, acid is a normal part of our digestive system. However, it is not normal when it remains in the esophagus for a prolonged period of time causing damage. The damage that occurs can range anywhere from just inflammation to actual ulcers to a precancerous condition and eventually cancer of the esophagus. Reflux can be cured. Um, up until now, it was kind of frowned upon by the gastroenterologists because the only available treatments were quite invasive. Now on the horizon are new treatments. Uh, one of them is the one that we do perform at Gange is called TIF, or Transoral Incisionless Fundoplication. Uh, what it basically is, is the same kind of procedure that the surgeon could do with a laparoscopy or robotic surgery However, this is done all endoscopically, so all on the inside of the person without cutting anything in the abdomen, which is done under general anesthesia in a hospital setting. However, it is done as a same-day procedure. So the person comes in in the morning fasting. They undergo the procedure, which is about 45 minutes, recuperate in the same-day unit, and are discharged home the same day. The uh, TIF procedure, we actually pull the stomach around, wrapping it around the lower end of the esophagus, creating a new valve. Because reflux is mostly caused by a defective lower sphincter, which is the valve between the esophagus and the stomach. So this is actually creating a new valve. Recovery in the sense of uh, going back to a normal diet is probably around six weeks. Um, there may be a little bit more swelling on the inside with this kind of procedure because the procedure is all performed internally. And that is why the person has to stay on a soft diet for about six weeks. The best candidates for the procedure are patients who have either no hiatal hernias but proven reflux or have small hiatal hernias up to one inch in diameter these can be done safely and easily with just the TIF procedure. Uh, so we hope since uh, reflux is such a major issue and the issue with long-term use of medications uh, is worrisome, uh, we hope to see more patients that we can help in this way.